Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create your registration forms for your events. Here we are at the control panel and you'll click on registration forms. And one thing you need to know about registration forms, each event can have its own event registration form. You can have one registration form and then all of your events can use that same form. Um, if you want to collect different data for different events, then you'll have to create different event registration forms and then assign those um, to your events when you create your events. So here we are in the registration form manager and we'll click new. This is very, very simple to start with. And one thing you might want to notice is the thank you message is actually tied to your event registration form. So we're not only going to create our form, we're also going to create our thank you message for when people register to your events. So the first thing that we want to create is our registration form. We're going to give it a title and we're just going to call this event registrants. Nobody will see this name other than you. Okay, now for the thank you message, we're going to simply say thank you for registering to, and then we're going to show the event title. This is where you'll customize. If you're using the same event form for different events, then what you want to do is start using these tags down here, and you'll see the description. And then we'll say, check your email for your confirmation. And then once you've done this basic information, you'll see there's no form fields. What we're going to do is we're going to click Save. Now what this is going to do is it saved and created the event registration form. And you'll see that there were three default forms already created as soon as we clicked on Save. Now that's by default. And these are three mandatory form fields that every event form has to have. You cannot delete these. They're mandatory. You can expand on these and create new, new uh, custom form fields simply by clicking Add More Form Fields. So say we want to have one for company. We want to collect the company name for this registrant. Please tell us your company name. This field description will actually turn into a tooltip for this particular field on the front end. Just like this little icon here shows a tooltip, the front end will show this little icon next to this form field. We're going to a field type of text. You'll see there's many, many, many different field types that RegPro includes. And it's not a conditional field of any other field, so there's nothing there to choose. And the validation rule, we're going to make this a mandatory form field. We don't want to have a default value or any attributes to this, and we do want to publish it. So we'll just hit Save and Closed, and you'll see the new field is published and listed in our form here. So that's all there is to creating a new form. You can continue adding new form fields all you like, and you can have your form be as long as you want. And don't forget to customize your thank you page message. And when you're done, just hit save and close, and you'll come back to the list of forms. And by default, the form itself will not be published. So you'll have to make sure that you publish it before creating your event so that your event can actually see that in the drop-down list to be selected. 